Hey friend, welcome to Beauty Over 40. My name is Lavinia. Today we're going to be trying out the Eloise Flawless Loose Setting Powder. If you'd like to experience this product with me, definitely stay tuned. I'm down if you're down. Let's ride out right now. We'll go where there ain't no crowds. Somewhere underneath the clouds. I'm down if you're down. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Of course, I have work, so I'm in the process of getting ready for work. This has been sitting for a week or so, and it's time. I've had a couple busy weeks. All right, as always, I usually just like to take that to work and read about it because I like to be surprised as to what's in the box. Okay, and we're just going to dig in. <laughs> and, and open all right so the first thing we pick up is reversal rose hip intense recovery eye serum oh okay hmm awesome starting off with some skincare we love skincare right all right and then the next thing we pick up is defiance beauty not sure what that is Looks like a lipstick, Defiance Beauty. Oh, liquid lipstick. Let's go ahead and open that. We love liquid lipsticks. Like, I don't even reach for regular lipstick anymore. Okay, that's a pretty coral pinky color. Okay, okay. That looks nice. All right, let's, let's see what else we have. <laughs> I'm trying to pick and choose here. All right, and then we have, take this plastic off. Okay, we have Flawless Loose Setting Powder by Eloise. Oh, let's open that. Oh, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Eloise. Comes with a little puff here, a little powder puff. And then it has that little sifter thing in it. I usually don't like that because it's like a waste of my time trying to get that out. So I will probably pop this little thing off here and use it that way. Awesome. Feels like we have a couple more things. Let's go for this. Ooh. I've gotten something from this brand before. This is Alamar. It's a cheek palette. Viva Las Chicas. <laughs> How cute. Let's open that. You guys. I have to make a confession. I'm a little OCD when it comes to like opening packages. I don't like tearing. You know, sometimes you open the package and it's hard to open and you just rip it. I don't like that. <laughs> so I always use my eyelash scissors here. It has that long nose on there and it's really sharp for when I cut my uh, lashes. All right, anyway, TMI. <laughs> I like to use that to open which is really weird because a lot of packaging I don't keep unless it's like an eyeshadow packet palette. Oh, okay. Let me take this like little covering off here. I am definitely not, I'm definitely not a blush girl. I do not have a lot of blush and I don't think I have any blush palette in my collection, unless I've gotten it in BoxyCharm. But this brown definitely looks like a cream. And I've been seeing a trend where basically, hold on, because there's a separate covering on that. Okay. Oh, there's like a little flap on that. Well, that's pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> Anywho, there it is. It's a real pretty, like raisin-like color. Reminds me of Raisin by MAC, but like in a cream form. Ooh, very pigmented. Very pigmented. Anywho, I was saying that I see a lot of people doing the trend where they'll do a cream blush, like blend that in. Like, I don't know at what point would you do that? I guess you would do that before you set your highlight. 
I've never done that, so there might be something I might try <laughs> off camera that where I can try that, that trend out first before I actually record it. All right, and then the last thing I have is Glass Skin Tanghulu. It is a cleansing foam, which BoxyCharm always comes through. I have a couple cleansers that I use every day, but I'm just not happy with them. One, I don't like the way it smells. To me, it smells like breath and I don't like that. <laughs> so I'm happy to see this. So I will definitely be giving this a try. So out of all these things, what are we gonna try? First, I need to moisturize my lips. That's the first thing. Ugh. I don't know, it's just something about sitting down and getting ready to do my makeup. I always feel like, <laughs> got that all over the place. I always feel like my lips are like extra, extra dry. All right, so let's see. I think I will save the eye serum for, I'm gonna save that for a separate video. So then we have the lip color, the loose powder, and the Viva Las Chicas. I don't know, I was really hoping for like eyeshadow or something like that, but the loose powder and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and I will be right back. All right guys, so makeup is done. Okay, got my concealer on. I do feel like I need to plan this a little bit more. All right, so we have Eloise here and the color. <clears throat> Deep caramel. I'm really hoping this is not too dark and it won't take away from my highlight. Because I've used some lighter colors. If you've watched my some of my most recent videos, I used the Danessa Myricks powder. And although it was a light shade, it really like took away from my highlight. So let's see. Let's just go ahead and press in. It did take away from the color a little bit. Well, quite a bit. You can really see it in person. You know, when you've been doing your makeup for so long, you know how you like it. It's not horrible. Now what I would do is just, I would use a lighter concealer with this. That way, you know, I can still still have some of that color so so you guys can kind of see the powder i've set my highlight you can kind of see what's going on here i'm going to finish my makeup i'll be back and let you know what my thoughts are all right while i'm here i'm going to go in this highlighter color here just in my inner corner for a pop of not really color but just to brighten my inner eyes a little bit i can't even really call it a trend because I don't really see a lot of people do it, <laughs> but I really like just adding just like a pop of highlight in my inner corner here. Lay down some concealer first, just to have something to grab onto. It's really pretty. All right guys, so I am back and I know this is, uh, where's my hair? This is probably gonna be you know, just a real quick video, not very lengthy at all, just because, you know, we was trying out this powder. I do want to say that I do like the powder, but as far as setting my highlight, I do like something that's going to either keep my color payoff where it is or enhance it a little bit. There's like a beautiful cast of shimmer. It's all, it looks as if almost like my concealer was drying but not completely like i had to like touch it just to make sure i'm like is this still wet so it really does have a beautiful finish to it real easy to work with and you know it set my highlight really really good i mean it's a setting powder you know it's just gonna do just that but you can definitely use it for like an all-over powder or just to set your highlight again for me if I use, if I continue to use this powder, I will definitely, for me, 
have to use a brighter concealer to get my look to where it is. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like my look. It looks really polished and clean and really finished and put together. Again, not to say that I don't like it, but I do like a setting powder that's gonna keep my payoff where it is or enhance it just a little bit. So, but you guys let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. But I would, I would definitely recommend that powder. It's a beautiful powder. And yeah, so that's my take on the Eloise Flawless Loose Setting Powder. And I would agree that it is flawless. My skin looks flawless. And the finish on it, again, is just really beautiful. So guys, definitely uh, check that out. I will link that product down below. And that is it for my video today. So if you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok, give your girl a follow at LRH Makeup. Also my second handle on TikTok, which is underscore beauty over 40. And of course, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to my channel, turning on post notifications. That way you'll be notified when I upload new content. All right, guys, until next time, remember the best makeup you can wear is confidence. Bye.